Hey Taurus, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. I hope you all are doing amazing. I pulled a couple of tarot cards here for you. I'm mainly going to use oracle cards today, but your tarot cards look really good. The only thing I see is somebody's in competition with you. <laughs> I really do. I feel like um, it could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be a Leo. This could be in your workplace. This could be uh, maybe even a jealous lover for some of you. But I see a twin flame coming towards you and they are coming with an engagement ring if you're a woman. If you are a man, this will be a woman that you want to put a ring on it. Okay, you're going to want to put a ring on it. This is destiny. You have destiny, competition, the mansion, and proposal. I'm seeing something significant about laying roots and a really big, beautiful home here. Mm, you could be meeting somebody who is very wealthy. Because this person has a really big, sprawling mansion here. This is nice. Okay, so let's get into your oracle cards. I'm going to pull in real time. Normally, I don't do that. But that's what I'm going to do. We have above the law. Yeah, so some of you in your workplace, there could be an Aries person or somebody. This could be a supervisor that you don't get along with. It looks like somebody is even trying to maybe steal your destiny, destiny swap, whatever they call themselves doing. Somebody's in a one-sided competition with you. This could be a supervisor. They might have technically more power than you in the workplace, but they really don't have more power than you. Yeah, Spirit says they're off course. Ooh, it says the pathway is blocked. I know that's right. So somebody is getting frustrated. This is showing up as a Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Virgo, or a Pisces person. If it's not an Aries. Okay, somebody is going about things the wrong way is what Spirit is saying. They are misguided. They are lost. Ooh-wee. This person is stubborn and forceful. And they lack direction. Wow. But they're getting frustrated because their plans are not working. We have a new masculine coming towards you. Flip it if it's a feminine, okay? Who is this new masculine? Some of you could be getting a new supervisor. We have a workplace bully. Yeah, they could be replacing a workplace bully. You could have a new supervisor coming in that could be a man. Doesn't have to be, but somebody that's taking charge in a more righteous way, okay? You could also be meeting a new masculine at work for some of you. Let's see what else you get here. We have the casting couch, transactional relationships, sleeping their way to the top. Ooh, indecent proposal, and in, um, industry politics. We have the boys club. Some of you could be dealing with some misogyny at work. Somebody is selling their soul for profit or gain. I feel like it's this Aries person, this uh, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces person. Yeah, the seven of pentacles in reverse. They have nothing to show for it. My God. So every time they try to come through, spirit just comes through and shut them right back down. They have nothing to show for it. Whatever they are doing is fruitless. It's a fruitless adventure. It returned void. Oh, no return on investment. This person is worn out. They're wasting their time. They have a lack of growth. They're experiencing setbacks. It could be another Taurus for some of you. It's definitely given in the workplace. So we have blindfold, the two of swords, confused, torn, ignorance is bliss, turning a blind eye, analysis, paralysis. Somebody needs to sh or get off the pot. We have the best revenge is your paper. You're focused on your bag, not the drama. I know that's right. So somebody here wanted to confuse you, keep you stuck, maybe block blessings for you in your workplace. But this person is stuck at a stalemate. It's not happening. You're focused on your money. You have success here. You're graduating with this four of wands. Could be a literal or a figurative graduation. We have can't think straight. This is somebody that is scatterbrained. They're judgmental. They're biased. They're nitpicky. They're nags. Okay. Could be a Libra person. Somebody who's unforgiving and unforgiving and scorned. And then we have your heart is in the right place. This is Page of Pentacles. That's your energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You are loyal and trustworthy. You have a gift or offer coming towards you. Somebody coming towards you with good intentions. This is also a golden opportunity, maybe going back to school. Like I said, somebody could be graduating here. We have Prim and Proper, which is the, um, the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. This is you. With your morals intact, playing by the rules. And then we have an approval letter. You have good news about school or a loan. What did I say? You could be going back to school or this could be a car loan, a home loan. Talked about the home, um, small business, credit card, being accepted into an organization or institution and passing a major test or exam. That is the good news that's coming for you. I feel like somebody's graduating. Like I said, it's either literal or a figurative graduation. All right, so good financial news. We have take inventory. Spirit wants you to spend some time alone in hermit mode, which I told you you would be in Virgo and Libra season. Do some soul searching. Spirit is saying it's time for introspection. Decide the best way forward. You're figuring yourself out. Go deep within yourself to reflect on how far you've come 
is what spirit is saying this is also a time to truly determine who is meant to be in the next great phase of your life as a positive turning point is approaching i know that's right what else we have trauma dump so spirit is telling you to avoid people who are addicted to drama people who get high off of toxicity they love to dump their mess at your front door people who live a dysfunctional lifestyle and they always call you with their bad news this is why spirit is telling you to go into hermit mode shut these people out withdraw from them cut them off because they're just energy vampires we have running things calling the shots power control and ego more um aries energy with a spell or curse has been broken. So you have returned some energy to send sender. You've banished this negative energy. You've transmuted it. And it has backfired on somebody. Whoever is in your workplace or whoever this person is that's trying to abuse their power. It is backfiring on them. Heavy. Real heavy. Okay. And let's see what else. We have thunder. So we have the tower showing up here. It says things are shaky. We have trouble, noise. Um, rumblings, a great mighty force, powerful energy, an explosive argument could have happened between you and someone. And we have ruin. Yeah, I kind of feel like somebody's house of cards is falling down, Taurus. Where you got this four of wands, which talks about a stable structure, which talks about building on a solid foundation. Um, there's someone else here whose, whose world is falling apart. This could be a Scorpio or an Aries person. I pick up a strong Aries energy. Somebody that is either in your workplace or maybe in your personal life and they have this weird obsession with you it's really weird we have sex drugs rock and roll this is the devil capricorn energy which y'all always pull somebody's like lifestyle is catching up to them somebody is a lost soul could be a cancer or a capricorn this person is overindulging in the party life they could be drinking drugging sexing whatever they're doing too much what else we have casper the friendly ghost someone is thinking about making nice with you or soon will who ghosted you mr or mrs hot and cold will likely resurface making nice and testing the waters like nothing has happened they'll check your temperature for reconciliation this could be in sagittarius season or it could be a sagittarius mm -mm. yeah for some of you this is a shame but it could be even a lover a husband a wife a boyfriend a girlfriend or whomever an ex that was always in competition with you wow we have reservations, date, plans, apprehension, hesitation, resistance. So this is somebody being slow to act, Virgo energy, and what was said here, confrontation. So there could be a confrontation that needs to be had, and maybe somebody is not willing to step up and do it. This could be you. This is showing up as earth sign energy, the knight of pentacles. Although it is Virgo energy, it could be something that happened in Virgo season. It could be the supervisor. Some of y'all could really be dealing with a workplace bully. You really could. We have playing house, shacking up, shared domicile, living together, unmarried, unhappy home and cohabitation. Who is this? We have the whole nine yards, going to extremes, giving it your all, a milestone. Hmm. This could be somebody at a distance from you who's in another relationship, but they still want to be with you. They're playing house with someone else, but they know that you are like... In their mind, I don't think you want them, but in their mind, they see you as their person. <laughs> this could be the same person coming back to make nice with you. Wow. Could be something online. They could reach out online. We have picture that. Yeah, imagine that. You're dismissing something as unrealistic. You're like, nah, I can't even imagine. We have never forget where you came from. The Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo, Scorpio energy. This has a lot to do with your roots, your bloodline, your family your traditions, your values, your upbringing. Hmm. What is this all about? Reverse psychology. Maybe an Aquarius is playing mind games with you. Somebody that wants to speak to you, but they're giving you the silent treatment and it's really driving them crazy. And then we have what will be, will be. Yeah, so this is somebody that you kind of charge to the game here with the Wheel of Fortune. This could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Sagittarius person. So you're leaving something to fate. You understand that, you know, God is in control and you're, you know, accepting what God allows here. The universe is on your side, though, which is good. Let's see a couple more. We have autopilot. Yeah, we have possibly a, an air sign 
who's going to impulsively pop back up on you or some of you just abruptly cut somebody off and we have superior what you got to watch out for with this person that may be resurfacing in your life especially if they're an air sign they do play mind games this is a know-it-all person this is the kind of person that never feels like they're wrong they look like they're about to spring into action with communication this is usually somebody racing towards you to talk Okay, so we have a lucky star. A prayer is being answered. Expect a miracle. Stay optimistic and have faith. This is wish fulfillment. Spirit is telling you to go after your dreams. The universe is supporting you and there is light at the end of the tunnel. The silver lining is here. All right, so we have long hair. Somebody could be letting their hair grow or maybe you just have long hair or maybe somebody is showing up in your energy who has long hair. Okay, so we have beating around the bush. We have a Libra here who's been indecisive. And we have breathe. Yeah, you're taking a breather from somebody that's been indecisive. Could be a Libra. Could be in Libra season that you're doing this. What else do we have? We have second guessing, which is Taurus energy. Reviewing the past, patiently waiting, assessing an investment, reading the fine print, thinking long term, and questioning an investment. Is the juice worth is the juice worth the squeeze? And we have a holy roller, which is Taurus energy as well, a God complex. See, somebody around you, I don't know if this is only in the workplace. This could be personal as well. It could be more than one person. Somebody here thinks they know it all. This person has like this air of moral superior, superiority, a God complex. They're on their soapbox. They're prudish. Hopefully, this is not you, Taurus. This is a Taurus card. So, I mean, it could be you. I don't know. Some of you could be thinking about some outdated beliefs that you've had and you're starting to question them and you're starting to wonder if they're even worth continuing to believe in or that could be somebody around you that you're looking at and thinking like do I want you in my life because all you do is complain all you do is judge all you do is like I can't stand that I can't yeah this is kind of like the matrix and the, the hierophant is all about the matrix it's we talked about this before we talked about this last weekend the week before i believe the matrix we're not going to go into it again but yeah i feel like some of you are possibly dealing with a spiritual narcissist or you could be this way yourself i don't know because it is showing up as tourist energy so some of you could just be thinking about some outdated beliefs and maybe you have like a, a mental conflict with the five of wands here about whether or not you should be a certain way, do a certain thing. I feel like you're about to find your soul tribe. The Hierophant has come out a couple of times in the four of wands. It's also about your soul tribe. We have married with children and sneak peek. So Spirit is saying in the future, you will be married with children. If you're still young enough to have children and you desire children, you will be married. Um, I am seeing the Ten of Cups here, which is a proposal. So there's a beautiful sparkly diamond ring on the table so somebody here does want to invest in you somebody sees the future with you this is a foreshadowing this is your intuition telling you some of you can already picture this person that you're going to be with there's a twin flame here showing up as possibly in aries maybe somebody in your community we have a present event it's happening in real time happening right now or today and we have a party so some of you could be going to a party maybe you recently did maybe this weekend or you could be going to a party maybe this coming weekend or something like that. Yeah, this four of wands could even be a get together. That is usually a social gathering. You could be going to a mansion party or something like that. I don't know. So we have a start. What are you starting? You're starting. We have a user. And then we have researching online. Somebody online is, is starting to, somebody is online starting to research you. We have a good deed here showing up as Taurus energy. Some of you are extremely giving people, very generous people. We have a family reunion for some of you. Or well, some of you could be getting with a family member who could be a Virgo, a Pisces, or an Aries. We have a love that stands the test of time. Yeah, you have somebody really solid coming in. Could be a Virgo that wants to build with you. We have possibly a fire sign, namely a Sagittarius that's arrogant showing up here. What are they talking about? Yeah, this is somebody that's in your energy right now. This person is watching you. All right, somebody has a way with words, the gift of gab. This is that air sign. And then we have a lifestyle upgrade, Taurus. This could happen in Virgo season. You could have gotten a promotion or something in Virgo season or some kind of financial breakthrough, a windfall of money, inheritance or something like that. You're on the road to recovery here during Libra season. Like I said, four of swords. Somebody could have just gotten out of the hospital and be getting back on their feet. Or just taking time to recharge your battery, going on a vacation or something like that. Some of you put your foot down with somebody. Could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries. You got tired of walking on eggshells for this person. You stood up for yourself. Yeah, you came to your senses here. 
it feels like you're in queen of queen of swords energy as usual and then we have here some kind of 30 year cycle closing out for somebody somebody wants to be taken out of the group chat <laughs> like you're getting group chat messages and you're like i don't want to be in a group chat i hate the group chat so y'all might be like me i can't stand it i don't like that constant dinging on my phone i literally hate it somebody could be 30 years old some of you could be on like some kind of um I don't know, an app or something or something on social media where maybe you are part of like a group or something like that. And people are bombarding you with bombarding you with messages. But you're reaching a milestone here. I just kind of feel like you're putting your foot down with people for sure. You are dealing with the devil in human form. Wow. You keep getting the devil and narcissists. You're drifting apart from this person. What else? Yeah, you're healing. You're in star energy. I keep telling y'all about Pisces season. Um, something that's going to turn around for you as far as emotionally emotionally that you've been holding on to. And somebody's going to regret losing you. Because mm -hmm. they made a snap decision to either cut you off or whatever they call themselves doing. But you're going to be healing. And this person is about to take a string of bad luck. A Taurus or an Aries. We have you down to earth, the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, you are. And melancholy, unhappy, depressed, low energy, pessimistic, feeling down and unmotivated. Somebody's about to watch you come up, so they're feeling dumb. Yeah, spirit, spirit is wanting you to trust the process when it comes to your healing. You have weathered the storm. You've been through ups and downs. You've been tested and been through some trying times. But spirit wants you to know you win some, you lose some. Ride the wave, accept what God allows, and just, you know, continue to figure it out. Last two, we have that you found your peace. It feels like Sagittarius season. And then we have a stronghold, the emperor. Okay, yeah. So I definitely feel like some of you are dealing with uh, like a tyrannical boss or something like that. There's something going on in your workplace. It doesn't have to be a boss. It could, I don't even say boss, supervisor. It could also be a coworker. It just feels like there's this energy around you of somebody that really has more status than you in the workplace, but they're really jealous, which is stupid. Like, why? All right, but... You're defeating this person by not even having to do anything. You don't have to lift a finger. Spirit already got you. I told you, every time they go to do something against you, spirit blocks it. <laughs> All right, y'all, like the video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Oh, ideal partnership just fell on the table. Maybe with a cancer. A cancer or a Pisces could be coming towards you. This is a kindred spirit, a soulmate. This could be somebody who is a cancer or this could happen in cancer season or maybe it already did. June uh, 22nd through July 1st in particular. Okay, y'all, I will see you all next time. Like the video, subscribe, leave me a comment. Peace.